Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I will explain six specific situations where it is not required or it is not beneficial to feed Venus flytraps. In this video, I won't be covering the specifics of how to feed a Venus flytrap and what type of feed to employ. But if you would like to learn more about that topic, uh, feel free to browse around in one of my articles at venusflytrapworld.com slash feeding. That article is all about Venus flytrap feeding. But for now, let's get into the main subject of the video. So first, when it is not required to feed Venus flytraps? First, when they are babies. When Venus flytraps are very young, they are actually very, very small in size. The traps are actually millimeters long, they're very, very tiny. It is possible to feed them. I have seen people make, you know, grind some bugs and make a, a little paste and feed uh, those tiny Venus flytraps. And that is possible, but it is challenging and it is not required. When Venus flytraps are so young, they get all of the re their required food through the photosynthesis. So there is no need to feed Venus flytraps for the first years when they are very tiny. In the next situation is when Venus flytraps are dormant. During the winter, Venus flytraps go dormant if they are exposed to temperatures below 40, 45 Fahrenheit. When Venus flytraps go dormant, they lose several of their leaves, uh, they kind of shrink in size, they lose all of those vibrant colors because they are focused not on growing their leaves but on growing their root system and becoming strong to start the the spring uh, in the best state. So during dormancy, there's really no need to feed Venus flytraps and it can actually be harmful for the plant. Also, it is not required to feed Venus flytraps when they live outdoors. When Venus flytraps live outdoors, they are very independent, they can catch their own bugs and as long as they have enough sunlight and enough water, then they will be okay. If you actually enjoy feeding Venus flytraps, maybe you buy some bugs like the ones I buy, uh, for example, these freeze-dried mealworms that you can buy at a pet store and you enjoy feeding your plant, you can definitely do so, but just keep in mind that it is not required. So if you do it once every, every several months, that is okay because it's just for the fun of it. Uh, in the next situation where I would uh, kind of discourage you to feed a Venus flytrap is if you're relatively new uh, in growing carnivorous plants and if you're not sure of the setup. If you are unsure that your Venus flytrap is receiving enough light, or if you are using the appropriate water, or if the soil is, is the correct type, then I will encourage you to actually do some more research about the care of Venus flytraps before you start, start feeding your plant. Besides that, also avoid feeding your plant if your Venus flytrap have just gone through a severe type of change. So maybe you bought your plant online, it just arrived in the mail, you just potted it, your plant might be weak because of the trip, so I would say wait a few weeks before you think about feeding your plant. The same if maybe your plant is recovering from a pest infestation. Uh, wait a few weeks, maybe even a month uh, before, uh, before you feed your plant, so wait until your plant is fully recovered. And finally, avoid feeding your plant if you don't know how to do it. There are many simple mistakes that can actually make you accidentally kill uh, some of the leaves within your plant and, and harm your plant if you don't know how to feed it correctly. For example, if you pick a bug that is too large and it barely fits within a trap, then that plant, uh, that trap might just wither because it's not able to digest such a big uh, insect. Also, some people are, are very curious and they don't know maybe much about Venus flytraps yet and they decide to experiment and maybe give their Venus flytrap some human food uh, and that just ends up rotting and maybe you know end up harming your plant. So those small mistakes can actually be very harmful for your plant. If you are not familiar with the feeding, uh, you can check out the article that I mentioned previously at venusflytrapworld.com slash feeding uh, or just any other resource, just learn the basics before you get started. Best of luck taking care of Venus flytraps. If you, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.